one inside the Bidibidi Pilipinas bus. So, so mga sumama sa akin, I, I hope I didn't miss anyone. Ay, candidates pala to. <laughs> so, dito titignan ko ito baka. Alright, so thank you very much, Anton Heather. Thank you very much. Edge, Tenoria, Pagetology 101, J. Barbo, Arvin Cabachete, Paolo Luneda, Jenson Cappuccino, thank you very much. Francois Diaz, Jonathan Santos, Christian Bakin, Franz, Franz Bayer, si Eton Concepcion, and of course, your friend Stanton from GMA News Online, Mr. Danny Pata, to Mr. Lars Santiago and the crew, and Mario Dumahawal, ABS-CBN. Thank you very much, guys, for making our reception truly unforgettable. Right now, this is um, the Jasmine Selberg Show, and I'm here to introduce to you, bago natin ipakilala si Jasmine, uh, yung ating uh, trustee ng BPCI, and she's here to welcome all of you. Please welcome Miss Irene Jose. So right now, it's about time. I hope your camera batteries are full because now is the time to introduce to you Miss International 2022 here in Manila. Please welcome Jackson Silver. So we're 
Been here. Oh, all right. Mr. All right. Our PR manager will be in charge Love it. of curating or managing the questions. Yeah. So we will start hey. right now with questions from the media. Ray, who will go first? Papa Hilala Mutayo, huh? Right, that's me. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Ay, ay, ulo lang daw, ulo daw. Sakalaya. Dito ka na lang dito. Paano? Ah, paano? Ito, ito, ito. Ito lang ah. Ito lang ah. Ito ka muna. Ipag ka muna. Okay na. Okay na. Bakit na siya? Flowers at each Hello, thank you everyone for coming. Yeah. Hello. Hi, oh, hi. Hi. My name is Franz Ivan, and here in the Philippines they call me Mars. I'm oh, sorry. Um, again, mabuhay and at the same time, welcome to the Philippines. It's been 24 hours <laughs> since you've been here in the Philippines. My question is, what Filipino characteristic or traits amaze you, and why? The the enthusiasm they have, the passion they have for something that they really, well, love and want to support. And also, hmm, yeah, it is the unconditional love and support that Filipinos usually show their beloved ones. And also yesterday you already um, met Hannah Arnold. How was your experience back then together with the Hannah Arnold in this international competition? Hannah is just a sweetheart. She's so easy to get along with. She's very, very easygoing. And that means just that you can just like her. Thank you and welcome again to the Philippines. Thank you. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to our country, Jasmine. Okay, my question is, uh, this is your day to hear in our country. So, in general, what is your uh, impression uh, about uh, the people, the weather, the food, in well, general? Yeah. <laughs> well, first of all, thank you for welcoming me with a typhoon. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't experienced that one yet. <laughs> so it will definitely be very memorable here. But um, I must say that the weather is very pleasant um, now that I've adjusted to Southeast Asian weather as well. And well, the people are very kind and loving and of course, very, very funny. You have so good humor and I didn't expect anything less from you after my Queen's Camp in Berlin actually teach me so much about the Philippines. Okay, aside from your uh, participation uh, in the board and Bini 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 uh, what do you look forward uh, to gain uh, in your visit here in our country? So, I always wanted to see Bini Bini Filipinas um, ever, since became, ever since I became a big pageant fan as well because of course my trainers 
are Filipino, so they have told me a lot about Binibini Filipinas and uh, that made me even more excited to come here because the knowledge that I gather here I really want to make use of to maybe also have our own little pageant in Germany and that really inspires me. And if you're your plan in the next uh, six months before you pass your ground to the next mission in Athena? Enjoy as much as possible, make as many new friends as possible, travel as much as possible, and just, well, enjoy the crown right now. Thank you very much. Nice meeting you in person. Yes. Nice to meet you. you. Jesse, hello. Hello. <laughs> Again, we Filipino pageant fans love you so much. And welcome to the Philippines, Miss Jesse. Salamat po. Uh, during your first day homecoming yesterday, uh, we heard you speaking in Tagalog. <laughs> few Tagalog words and we were amazed. Uh, may we know um, whom did you learn this Tagalog words? So, as I said, my trainers in Berlin, they are Filipino. And so I have been listening to them speak Tagalog around me for like two and a half years now, ever since 2020, November. And <laughs> that's how I picked it up. For example, the one, one of the most <laughs> spoken sentences I heard was wait lang. <laughs> so <laughs> I kind of like to use it too now. <laughs> Any other funny Tagalog words that you learn aside from this? Well, yes, Marites for one. <laughs> so, I was introducing myself to Hannah, like, Hi, I'm Marites. <laughs> and uh, she was very confused. She said, Wait, your name is not Marites. So it took her a minute to understand what I mean. But after she found out, she was also laughing, of course. Yeah, that's so fun. <laughs> okay, going to the serious side from Jasmine, uh, a lot of uh, Filipina, young Filipina women would like to, to win a national or international ground. What advice can you give them? Not only to Filipinas, but all over the, the world. Uh, uh, every woman in the world who aspires to become a beauty queen like you. What advice can you give them? So this advice is a general advice, in, I would say, and it is um, learn from your surroundings. That means pick up what you see, also try to um, think what others would like do in your situation, for example, or what you would do if you were in the situation of another person. So this is how you actually learn. And then that's what I did as well. I went to my first pageant to learn, which is Miss Globe, the title that we also give here, together with Maureen Montaigne, I competed, competed there. And so I really took that to my heart. So I also basically took notes how Maureen was, for example, prepared. And I really adjust, adjusted myself to that for my next pageant. And um, apparently consistency is also key and never giving up. So if it doesn't work out on the first try, maybe try once more. And also don't lose your passion because if you're passionate about something, I think you can really conquer the world. Thanks so much and God bless you. Thank you. Hello, Jasmine. Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to the Philippines. I am Elka Barat. My question is about your budget journey in Japan. Uh, aside from winning the crown, what is your most memorable experience in Japan and your most favorite part of the competition and why? So for one, it is of course again making so many new friends because we are still in touch for example and coming here I have actually three, at least three girls that I can actually contact and say hi to and um, that is just something that is an incomparable feeling because it gives you like the feeling that you feel home wherever you go at least it is like that for me and well i think for japan or miss international in particular it is all the cultural activities that we did and i'm really grateful if the country that i visit introduces me to their culture so i'm also really happy to learn Filipina, Filipina, Filipiniana terno right now 
Thank you and enjoy the film. Thank you. Hi, it's just me, Mabuhay. And welcome to the Philippines once again. Um, just means Miss International is actually one of the most distinct uh, pageants right now and uh, today. So um, winning the Miss International uh, crown, do you think uh, how could the um, advocacy help a candidate or a, or the aspirant? So one of our advocacies is cheer all women, and that really led me to believe that when women support one another, but also when humankind supports one another and tries to erase toxicity, then we can really also be empowered as women. And um, I mean, I've seen feuds between women in my entire lifetime, and many of us have seen dramas between women. Like they say that usually the perception of beauty pageants is um, that there's a lot of fights between them and everything like that. But for me, in each beauty pageant I competed in, or each beauty pageant I was a delegate in, I really, there was not really much drama at all, which made me really happy to see that. And I really want to, with the cheer all women slogan basically, I want to give other women also the, well, how do you say it? I can't think of the English word right now. Um, like just the support and yeah. The more women cheer on each other, the less drama there will be lastly as well. That's my take on it. Um, now as a queen or as a Miss International Queen, um, Jasmine, how do you juggle your responsibilities in life, love life, family, and as a Miss International Queen as well? So I really make sure to take time out sometimes where I basically do digital detox. I just put my phone away and then there is like clear times where I'm like, okay, I have this and that appointment and I really want to give 100% here and there. So sometimes I also, if I go to cultural activities in Germany or in whatever country I visit, I really want to make sure that as Miss Internationals are also basically cultural, cultural ambassadors, um, I really want to also provide this content for my followers, for example, to also give them insights about different cultures we are or I am encountering. Thank you so much, Jasmine. And my name is Franzo Bade from Pageant Bank Philippines. Nice to meet you. Um, hello, Hi, Jasmine. Uh, I'm Jasmine Cappuccino from Sanderson Skits. Um, I know that page. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, you. You look wonderful. And um, we met yesterday, and you still have the same glow as when you arrived as you have now. And a lot of people are actually telling uh, telling us pageant pages that uh, you look like you have a ring light uh, following you everywhere you go. So uh, just a easy question, fun question. Um, how do you maintain your beauty, um, knowing that you travel a lot, and at the same time, can you, can you give you know um, aspiring beauty queen tips on how to have um, glowing skin every day? So I think one of the um, key ingredients to look happy is good food. So <laughs> I make sure to eat a lot and sleep a lot, of course, because if I don't do that, I become sick immediately. So I really also like need to make sure that I eat enough and sleep enough. So that is one of the main, um, well, the secrets to me maintaining my glow. But I also try to um, look at things as positively as possible usually. So I have the, the glass is half full mindset and not that it's half empty. And um, I think that also kind of helps me to maintain it and to show it to the outer world. And also, I, I feel energized when I see people like you, and uh, like gives me so much happiness to actually see that there's people interested in me, <laughs> if, if to put it that way, because I still consider myself a normal human who was just given the opportunity to be a Miss International and also to carry that title with great pride. And um, yeah, that is one of the main ingredients of my 
glowing secret. But it's also, of course, makeup and, and good light. <laughs> and so, sometimes adjusting the, the brightness in the pictures. <laughs> uh, you also mentioned that, yeah, yesterday that uh, you wanted to try adobo. So far, have you already? I ate it. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> right. Adobo. That's right. <laughs> they brought it to my room. So I had it there in all silence. Because, of course, to, to maintain a happy lifestyle, you also need moments for yourself. So I appreciated that, actually. <laughs> Thank you, Jasmine. Hi, Jasmine. Mabuhay and welcome to the Philippines. Thank you. This is Jane from Magic Trend. I just want to ask for what, um, what, what, uh, um, what was the first thing you did right after you win the crown? Um, well, first of all, I, I was brought into the backstage <laughs> where, where they um, touched up my makeup and everything, but I still was very tired. So after that, we also had the, um, the after party, and so I could eat there. And then when I finally got to my room, <laughs> I was disconnecting. <laughs> I looked at like I had my crown with me the first night, so I had the crown on, on the shelf and I was just looking at it, trying to process what just happened <laughs> because it was so surprising for me that that I won Miss Germany after 33 years of, of not even placing all the time as a like German, Miss Germany delegates in general. So it was just unbelievable and then sometimes like it, it really began to sink in. And then I contacted my family, of course. Thank you so much. Hi, Jasmine. I'm Edge from Pageantology 101. Hello, I know Hi. your page as well. <laughs> so, we have an uh, Instagram question here. What is the single most important thing you would like to accomplish as Miss International? Mm, I pretty much already made history, so having my, my name on, on the Google search and having many, many, um, well, results there really made me like think, wow, I'm, I'm uh, more famous now than I was before. <laughs> so I, I felt really prideful in that and also to be one of the big six um, or big three queens of Germany to have ever placed. Um, that also makes me very humbled and, and appreciative of that fact. So one of the main things I also want to do is um, to actually inspire people through my journey and also through, through all the things I'm doing and that I will still do. So yeah, that is one of the main things I, I do. Thank you so much for it. Hello, Jackie, welcome. And I'm Paul from the Philippine Pageantry and Pageantry News International. Oh, I know that page too. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. My question is, having been crowned as our Miss International 2020, how would you now define what, uh, what is Miss International is both personally and professionally? to young girls and inspire candidates group. So, as I said earlier, I believe that a Miss International should be someone who is kind and approachable and who is warm-heartedly, like really from the bottom of their heart, approaching people. And um, of course, it is also someone who maintains international relationships and also encourages people to try other cultures, other cultures' food. So that is something that I believe is something that really makes a Miss International a Miss International. It's kind of like a diplomat, I would say, but um, with less politics in it. Jasmine, I know that you're Okay, so uh, we do know that you're dating a Korean, right? Uh, um, <laughs> that's old news. Ah, you're no longer together? No. Okay. Oh. Filipino men are the best, also. Okay. 
<laughs> anyway, um, but on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, you know, uh, you have traveled to this part of the world. Uh, how close is Asia in your heart? And what uh, places in the Philippines would you like to explore? So Asia, of course, is very, very close to my heart because every time I came to Asia, been in, I mean, I've been to Korea, Japan, and now Southeast Asia, Indonesia, Vietnam, and Philippines. I have always been greeted with so much love and warmth by the people there. And it makes me feel really appreciated as a person. But I also can feel that it's genuine love and genuine kindness that I'm experiencing here, which Europe actually still lacks a bit of, to be honest. So coming to Asia really makes me always feel appreciated and I want to give the same love back to the people here. So it also gives me a lot of energy and hope for the future. Hi, hi Yasmin. Uh, this is Leo from uh, Life and Science Central. Uh, I've been said that uh, we have down uh, the ground, uh, all eyes uh, on you. Uh, what can you say about uh, those uh, girls that really want to inspire or wanted to become like you? Mm, so, as I said earlier, never giving up being passionate about what you do, and also being consistent are, for me at least, the key ingredients that got me the crown in the end. But it also had to do a lot with my personality development. So when I became, well, before I became a pageant queen, I was bullied in school, I felt very insecure.